so the oil change is a pretty re relatively easy process. Um, it takes a few steps and maybe one to two hours of your time. Um, you can definitely do it at home by yourself, but you need a special tool to reset the engine oil service light. So um, today I'm going to show you how to do it and you can follow along. So you can see here I um, put my car on the ramps to do my oil change. Um, some people would like to make sure the car is level. So what you could do is jack up the front, put it on jack stands, or like me, if, you, um, if your driveway is on an incline already, um, that's fine. The car should be level out even after you put it on ramps. Once you're done running your car for 15 minutes, you can start setting up some cardboard paper underneath the car, just in case of any spill or drain. So we're underneath the car right now. And the drain bolt is right here. The oil filter is up here. You can see it's a black canister. I'll show it to you later. But first of all, you wanna Loosen this, put a pan underneath it, maybe some cardboard to uh, collect all the drain and the spillage. And we'll go from there. Okay, so um, while your engine oil is draining, it's also a good idea to open up your engine oil uh, filler cap. That will let the oil come out faster. So now once your car has finished draining engine oil, um, now is a good time to grab your torque wrench, your drain bolt, and your new crush washer right here. Install the crush washer into the drain bolt like that. And then the torque you want is 30, 37 foot pounds. 37 foot pounds of torque. And we'll go and do that now. Okay, so um, the oil filter tool that you need from Porsche is uh, European size 74.2 millimeters, I think kind of hard to get and it might take some time to get so what I have here is a 75 millimeter one that you can get at most of the auto parts stores in North America um, some people even use a 76 millimeter 74 millimeter might be a bit too small for you so what I do with my 75 millimeter is I just grab, grab a latex glove anything it would work actually put a, put a latex glove in there and when you go into your filter the latex glove serves two purposes. One, it will clamp down onto uh, the filter housing and fill in that one to two millimeter gap you're missing with the bigger oil filter size, oil filter tool here. And the other one is it protects your oil filter housing from getting too much scratches, metal from metal from metal to metal contact. So put it in there, and it will go right over your oil filter underneath your car and we will get it done now so we are right underneath the car right now the oil filter is right up in here um, that is the driver's side for North Americans which is the left side it's a black housing it's kind of hard to capture it in the video for you guys but um, it's right in here to the left side of the engine so what you need is your 75 millimeter oil filter tool. You have it in there snug and tight. Now you can put your wrench, socket wrench on there and just turn it. Okay, so once it's loose enough, you can 
finish the rest of the way with your hands it should be pretty loose rotating it until it comes right up there's gotta be a few drips and drops some people suggest using the Ziploc bag that came with your filter um, to catch all the oil but if you put a piece of cardboard underneath like me it should be fine so there's some oil in the oil filter housing still you can just drain it drain the rest of it into your oil pan And then now you're ready to put in a new one. You can see here the part number is at the bottom. Um, I don't think it really matters which side you put it in, but um, I'll just copy what Porsche did and put the oil, the part number facing the bottom of the housing, just like that. Okay, so once you've got your oil filter housing um, out from your car, you remove the filter, drain the oil. And now you have an O-ring. Porsche recommends you replacing it every single oil interval. I don't find that necessary, but um, if you if you happen to drop by the dealership, purchase one. It's not too expensive. Um, in order to replace it, this is what you want to do. There is a small notch right here along the thread. You can grab a screwdriver that is not too sharp, and then put it in here. Okay, so you have a screwdriver. Find one that is has that is not too sharp around the corners because you don't want to pierce and um, cut your o-ring in half but uh, find one that's not too sharp find a notch right here along the thread stick your screwdriver gently in there to lift it up a little bit just enough that you can put your fingers underneath it and then all you have to do is just roll it outwards like this easy is to put some oil along just coat the entire o-ring with some oil you can use any oil use the new oil that you have or even use the old oil it's not that big of a deal you just need to get some oil on there so um, when you go to install your oil filter onto your engine um, it doesn't stick on there due to the heat and time so now it's on there now you're ready to put on your new um, filter right here So earlier I said the, oil, the part number from Porsche was facing down inside the housing. So we're going to have the oil part number face down like this. And um, a very good practice is at this point you want to fill up your oil filter housing with oil up to here. Um, this is so when you go and start your engine for the first time after filling up with oil, um, there will be some oil in the housing, in the oil filter already. Okay, so now that you've uh, applied some oil onto your new O-ring on your oil filter housing, you have some oil in your oil filter housing. Now you're ready to put your oil filter back into the engine. Okay, so... Um, once you have hand tightened your oil filter housing, what you want to do is put your oil filter tool back on there and tighten your oil filter to 19 foot-pounds. 19 foot-pounds is actually not a lot. It basically means hand tighten. So if you don't have a torque wrench, hand tighten will be fine. If you realize after driving for X amount of kilometers that there's a little oil seeping out from your oil filter housing, just tighten a bit more and top up as necessary. Okay, so now you've uh, tightened your drain bolt, you've uh, changed your oil filter, uh, added oil into your oil filter housing, replaced it with a new O-ring. Now the final two steps is to put in the engine oil from the back and also check your engine oil in your dashboard. 
So now we're going to fill it up with engine oil and then we're going to check um, how much oil we need to top up. So uh, you want to fill your engine oil right here. There is two, once you open your trunk, your boot lid, there is a cover like this. Lift up the lever, open it up. This is the engine oil and you want to unscrew it. Put your cap right here somewhere safe. Watch out for oil dripping over your interior. Um, if you're not that great with pouring oil, you could put a garbage bag, um, cut a hole, put a garbage bag and tape it around here and then pour it in. But if you have a funnel like me, it should be fine. So you're gonna need eight liters, right? So the first jug, you don't really have to um, measure, just there's 4.4 liters in this one. Just pour the whole thing in. Um, do it slowly at first, just because if you pour too much, maybe the funnel won't be able to accept that much and it'll come out and you'll get oil everywhere. Okay, so when you're at about seven liters, that's when you wanna stop and then slowly top up from there. Um, just because uh, depending on how much oil actually came out while you were draining them, um, it could range anywhere from 7.5 liters to 8.5 liters roughly. So stop at seven liters, top up using your uh, oil level indicator inside your dashboard and then go from there. Okay, so now the oil change is done. Unfortunately, there is no oil dipstick with this car. So you will need to use the onboard indicator to check how much oil you have left in your car. Or how much oil you have filled in your car. And to do that, you have to uh, start your engine. Let it idle until the engine is warm. At which time, the car will do a... Uh, check for you and then it'll tell you how much oil your engine has so the stick that you want to use is right here there is the indicator stick and then lower down there is the, um, the engine oil or indicator so you turn it on and then you can try to show it to you here but you want to push down sorry push down push forward and in here you would see oil measure oil level at which point you want to push forward again and then it would say measurement only possible with engine idling so at this point you want to depress your clutch if you have a manual car started and then with that stick again do the same procedure highlight oil and then let it scan 50 seconds so after the countdown it should have a reading for you hope you like this video wish it was clearer than it was um, but please subscribe and like the video. Thanks for watching.